Hey Divas, I am back again. It's your girl Miss Angel and this time I'm going to do the Diva Tag. Okay, this is seven questions, so let's get right on into it. First one, how did you get started with makeup? I think I answered this like a few times before, but about a year ago I um, started to wear foundation for the first time. And from there everything just escalated. Like I wanted makeup upon makeup upon makeup and then that's when clients came and everything after that so that's how I started a makeup next thing um what is your most memorable makeup experience um, hmm. well I have a bad memorable makeup experience and that one happened at a mat counter so, ironically enough the first time I purchased MAC, and it's really funny why I still purchased it, but I had a young lady, like, do my face. You know how in the mall the lights are, like, extra beaming bright and, like, you just look, you can see, like, every floor? Either way, long story short, when I got up out of that chair, I looked like Patty Mayonnaise from Doug. I mean, I was orange. I was like about to cry it was so ugly <laughs> I was like no so you would think I would have not done anything but I said uh-uh nothing is gonna look bad on me I'm gonna fix this so I purchased that Mac that day and I came home and I just started to teach myself you know everything that I know so yeah that was a bad um, memorable experience and a good one would probably be the NYC makeup show um, you know a lot of different vendors seeing products that I've never even heard of before um, sitting in on seminars uh, learning different type of types of skin shades XYZ so that was really really fun that was probably the most memorable in a good way <laughs> all right so question number three what is your favorite high-end makeup Mac, I love, love, love Mac. Mac, um, not everything, um, but Mac is a really good line. It's done good by me. And also, I like Smashbox. They have really good lusters um, of their lipsticks. They're like incredible. So, yeah, that's really good too. Number four, do you have any advice for aspiring makeup enthusiasts? Um, my only advice as novice as I am <laughs> would be just to not be afraid of makeup it's not gonna bite you or attack you just you know if it's a passion of yours something you want to do you like the way makeup looks on others and you just you know intimidated by using it but just go after it I hear all the times girls tell me oh I would love to do my makeup but I'm scared and it's almost like saying, oh, I want to go get my nose pierced, but I'm scared. I mean, it's a complete different thing. Like, so what are you scared of? Like, pick up that product and beat your face, girl. And if it's not for you, you'll know. You know? It's just as simple as that. So my advice would be, don't be afraid of a product. Take over and do what you have to do. Okay? Um, let's see. Number five. What is your all-time makeup pet peeve? Uh, you guys know, number one is those halo eyebrows when the concealer isn't blended out, like, on the top, like, and you just see, like, I think this is becoming a signature look, because I'm on YouTube, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, a lot of different social media networks, and I'm starting to see artists that post their clients literally, purposely, not blend out the concealer. It's almost like something that the people are requesting or a signature stamp. I don't know, but it's just not for me. And number two is I love blush. Before, when I thought about blush, I thought old women. But since doing makeup, wearing makeup, loving makeup, I love blush. And it kills me when I see a dark toned young lady, or even a light toned young lady, wearing like fuchsia pink blush that is not allowed it is not okay and it is not fair to people's eyes so like learn your blush colors and you know and then use it that's all I'd have to say so I hate like rosy pucker crazy pink cheeks and halo eyebrows all right next one one thing you wish you can change in the makeup industry uh, I don't know. I haven't really thought about that. Maybe, I don't know, like beauty makeup is just that and I love it. But I feel like, 
you know, it may come a time that I just like get bored of just beauty makeup. So if I had to change anything in the makeup industry, it would be think outside of the box. Um, you know, not everyone has to have the classic Kim K highlight or, you know, just do something different. Like I want to try to do like maybe a goth glam face and stay tuned for that because that's been on my mind a while or some type of vamp face or maybe even try working on transformations and turning myself into other people with makeup so yeah and the very last question is what is your no who is your favorite male or female makeup artist I watch makeup all the time in person um, on TV wherever I can see makeup physically especially like on Housewives of Atlanta or shows like that where the girls face are beat daily like I'm addicted to seeing makeup and it's not just women of color I like all complexions I like you know all types of makeup and even like I said before a time or two I love gory makeup I love you know how they can construct Godzilla and you know all different types of crazy makeup so I don't have a particular favorite but YouTube wise I definitely favor uh, Jamaican makeup artist. She is a phenomenal young lady. Her work is incredible. Her skill above anything is like out of this world. When I watch her channel, you know, I just, I get stunned. I have to like watch it again, you know? I've seen her do her eyebrows literally in reverse, like conceal top and bottom, blend it out, and fill in after. She's so good. She has learned the contours of her face and she's just incredible. So yeah, that's the diva tag. I wanted to get this video up. I did record a video that will be posted either before or after this one. And it is a contest entry, so please go and check that video out. And yeah, so until we meet again, I definitely tag all of my subbies to do this tag as well. I want to hear what you guys have to say. And yeah, so that's it. That's my time, and I will chat with you all later. Mwah. Bye.